Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends, to your younger brothers and sisters, and to your friends' friends. That's one way you can keep me going, inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies as part of your preparations to engineering life, then please don't forget to subscribe. Level 143 for the semicircular region, calculate the moments and product of inertia about the UV axis. Since the UV axis are rotated and it is passing through the centroid, then we modify a little our guide formula. I sub Cu is equal to 1 half quantity I sub Cx plus I sub Cy plus 1 half quantity I sub Cx minus I sub Cy cosine of 2 theta minus P sub Cxy sine 2 theta product of inertia with respect to the centroid xy sine 2 theta. I sub Cv is 1 half of quantity I sub Cx plus I sub Cy minus 1 half of quantity I sub Cx minus I sub Cy cosine 2 theta plus P sub Cxy sine 2 theta. And P sub C uv is equal to 1 half of quantity I sub Cx minus I sub Cy sine of 2 theta plus P sub Cxy cosine of 2 theta. So these are our guide formula. For the semicircular section, the moment of inertia with respect to the centroidal axis through this is 0.10976 radius to the fourth. So I sub Cx is 0.10976, 120 to the fourth. And that is equal to 22.76 times 10 to the six millimeters to the fourth. I sub Cy, on the other hand, is like two quarter circles, moment of inertia of quarter circles. So it is pi over 8, 120 to the fourth. Pi over 8, radius to the fourth, 120 to the fourth. And that is equal to 81.43 times 10 to the 6 millimeters to the fourth. While the product of inertia, of the semicircular area with respect to the centroid is zero because it has an axis of symmetry. So substitute I sub Cu is, by the way, theta is clockwise towards the U axis. So it is a negative angle, negative 25 degrees, where 25 is 90 minus 65. So clockwise 25 degrees so that is treated in our formula negative 25 degrees so i sub cu is one half of quantity 22.76 plus 81.43 plus one half of quantity 22.76 minus 81.43 cosine of two times negative 25 degrees plus p sub x or minus p sub c x y which is zero sine of negative 50 so that's still zero so therefore, I sub Cu is equal to 33.24 times 10 to the 6 millimeters to the 4th. I sub Cv is 1 half quantity 22.76 plus 81.73 plus minus 1 half 22.76 minus 81.43 cosine of negative 50 degrees then plus 0. I sub Cv is equal to 70.95 times 10 to the 6 millimeters to the 4th. Then product of inertia sub CUV is equal to 1 half I sub CX minus I sub CY sine of negative 50 degrees then plus 0. So P sub CUV is 1 half of 22.76 minus 81.43 sine of negative 50 degrees as long as this is times 10 to the 6. So P sub C U V, the product of inertia with respect to the centroidal UV axis is 22.47 times 10 to the 6 millimeters to the fourth. Level 144 determined for the quarter, quarter ellipse shown below the moments and the product of inertia with respect to the new axis obtained by rotating the X and Y axis about O. 
for part A through 45 degrees counterclockwise, so that's positive angle, and through 30 degrees clockwise, this is a negative angle. So here is the given figure where A is supposedly 2A and B is A, because this is B and this is supposedly A for this ellipse. So we derive a formula for quarter ellipse, and it was Ix equals pi over 16 a b cube and in this case a is 2 a b is a and the formulas are i sub u is one half quantity i x plus i y plus one half of quantity i x minus i y cosine 2 theta minus p sub x y sine of 2 theta i sub v is one half quantity i x plus i y minus one half quantity i x minus i y cosine 2 theta plus p sub x y sine of 2 theta and p sub u v is equal to one half quantity i x minus i y sine of 2 theta plus p sub x y cosine of 2 theta so these are the formulas and i hope that up to this moment you can recall these formulas so as i said i x is pi a is 2a b cube so a cube then over 16 so pi a is 2a b is a cube over 16 simplifying that's pi a to the fourth over 8 while i y is equal to pi 2a cube b 2a cube b over 16 so i y is pi 2 a quantity cube times b which is a over 16 simplifying i y is pi a to the fourth over 2 then the product of inertia is a square b square over 8 where a is 2 a b is a so product of inertia is a square 2 a square b square which is a square over 8 and that's a to the fourth over 2 then we substitute that into these formulas here so i sub for part a to theta is 90 degrees 2 times positive 45 90 degrees so i sub u is one half of quantity pi over 8 a to the fourth plus pi over 2 a to the fourth plus one half quantity pi over 8 a to the fourth minus pi over 2 a to the fourth cosine of 2 times theta so cosine 90 degrees minus a to the fourth over 2 sine of 90 cosine 90 is 0 and simplifying we have i sub u equals 5 pi over 16 a to the fourth minus a to the fourth over 2 sine 90 is 1 then combining in decimal 0.4817 a to the fourth i sub v is one half quantity pi over 8 a to the fourth plus pi over 2 a to the fourth minus one half quantity pi over 8 a to the fourth minus pi over 2 a to the fourth cosine of 90 degrees then plus a to the fourth over 2 sine of 90 degrees so again this is zero this is uh, iv is 5 pi over 16 a to the fourth plus a to the fourth over 2 combining expressing in decimal that is equal to 1.482a to the fourth then pov is one half of quantity ix pi over 8a to the fourth minus iy pi over 2a to the fourth sine of 2 theta plus a to the fourth over 2 cosine of 2 theta or cosine of 90 cosine 90 is zero so this is one so it is just pi over 8 minus pi over 2 that's negative 3 eighths over 2 so negative 3 over 16 pi a to the fourth then for part b 2 theta is so it is clockwise so 2 theta would be negative 60 degrees 2 times negative 30 substitute into the formula i sub u is one half of quantity pi over 8 a to the fourth plus pi over 2 a to the fourth plus one half quantity pi over 8 a to the fourth minus pi over 2 a to the fourth cosine of six negative 60 degrees 
minus a to the fourth over 2 sine of negative 60 degrees. Simplifying, I sub u is 5 pi over 16 a to the fourth. This is negative 3 pi over 32 a to the fourth. And the last part is square root of 3 over 4 positive a to the fourth. Combining, expressing in decimal, I sub u is 1.120 a to the fourth. I sub v is 1 half quantity pi over 8 a to the fourth plus pi over 2 a to the fourth minus 1 half quantity pi over 8 a to the fourth minus pi over 2 a to the fourth cosine of negative 60 degrees plus a to the fourth over 2 sine of negative 60 degrees. Simplifying I sub v is 0.8433 a to the fourth. So that's it for this problem.